Welcome to another CompuByte software tutorial. This tutorial will be on stock tagging made easy. When you're at the main menu of the CompuByte POS program, you go to stock reports. You click on stock reports to put your access code in. Then you can choose which groups you want to lock for stock taking. It is important that you only choose to lock groups if you want to do stock taking while your other computers are doing sales so that it won't interfere with your stock take. What you do is you click on the group and you just lock the particular group. At this point in time, I'm just going to be doing random stock take, so I'm not going to lock a specific group. If you happen to lock the group, then after you finish done your capture stock and updates, you must make sure that you unlock the stock groups so that you can unlock the chosen group so that you can do normal sales again in those groups. Now I'm going to go to capture stock and stock takes. Put my access code in. One, two, three, four. And now I just put in the stock items where I'm going to take stock four. So I took one minus one, one minus one, one minus one. You see, as you put the items, it's increasing the number of units that you're taking stock of. And I put one minus two, one minus three, one minus four, one minus five, one minus six. So these are all the stock item codes that I'm taking stock of. If you don't want to take stock items one at a time, you want to put quantities and you click on insert quantity prompt. Now if I put one minus one, it will tell me what quantity of stock I've got. I can put in 100 and now it updates the stock automatically. Now I'm going to take the insert quantity prompt off again. And also you can do, you can take stock while searching for stock items. I'll insert, you say I've got direct search here. I'm going to untick direct search and I'm going to search for items test. And now I can search for test and just say that's one minus one. That's the one I took. And it's one item and I've increased it to 1006. So direct search is if you, you untick direct search if you want to search by description. If you want to search by PLU code or by the, the reference code, you, you can put direct search on. Now, if you want to just see what's your discrepancy report, you can view current discrepancy report in Excel and then view it by just clicking on view currency discrepancy report. If you're happy with this and it's the random stock items, you always make sure that random stock items is ticked. You only choose all, all specific group items or all stock items. If you are doing, if you are doing stock in a specific group only, then you will choose all items in specific group, like this is in group number one, and then allow scans only in group number one, you put one in there. That is if you're doing only stock take of a specific group. And you're going to make sure that if you are doing stock, stock, uh, stock takes of a specific group, make sure you take stock of all the items in the group. Otherwise, whatever items you haven't taken stock, stock of, it will zero rise those items. I'm going to go back and select random items. If you choose all stock items, that is only to be chosen once you have taken stock of all your stock in the store then only choose all stock items because it will do the same thing like all items in specific group. It will zero, rows, zero rise those items that you haven't taken stock of. That's your stock take. Now you can just do update and analyze. So you just click on do update and analyze and then it will update all your stock and adjust your stock accordingly. That's how simple stock taking is in the CompuBite point of sale post software. 